Hi guys, Chris here from matt 4 tech Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to review Android Marshmallow 6.0 running on a last generation Nexus 5. This is the official build of Marshmallow from Google. There are many visible changes and background changes that have happened in Marshmallow compared to Lollipop. What are they? Let's go ahead and check out the features which are new in Marshmallow. Starting with a lock screen, on the left bottom corner, instead of a shortcut to a dialer app, we now have a shortcut to Google Now. Some may like it and some may not, but the bad news is we can't change it. Font of the clock on the lock screen have been changed. It now looks more polished. If you are having the latest Nexus, the lock icon on the bottom center will be replaced with a fingerprint icon. Since this is Nexus 5 and does not have a fingerprint scanner, let's just swipe to unlock. Everyone likes wallpaper. Google has added a few new wallpapers as usual with any new Android version. It looks pretty good. If we take a look at the app drawer, now it scrolls vertically instead of the horizontal scroll which we have used to from the previous versions. There is a search bar at the top to quickly search any app in the drawer. The first row of the app drawer is populated with the most frequently used apps. There is a scroll bar to the right which helps you jump to any specific app in an alphabetical order. We still have the Google Now on the home screen to your right with the related information. You may or may not like these changes to the app drawer. If you don't, you can always install any third-party launchers like the Nova launcher. But just to let you know, the Google Now launcher in the Play Store have also been updated with these changes. There is also changes to the volume controls now. It has changed again from Lollipop. but. Better for this time, now you can control your volume for alerts, media, alarms from a simple drop down option from the base volume control. On long pressing, the settings icon on the notification drawer enables the system UI tuner menu. Also, the settings icon is now changed with a small plier to its side. This is found as the last option on the settings menu. Opening the menu, we get a message saying this is for fun but not for all. In the menu, you find options to manage quick toggles, status bar and enable the battery percentage. Also, there is a demo mode for the show floors. These above changes may not come to all devices which receives Marshmallow update since most of the OEM tends to customize their UI to keep the visual changes minimum. Let's now look into those features which may come to any device which receives a Marshmallow update. The highlight feature for Marshmallow is the Google on tap. This is a feature which enables the user to get quick search result from any screen with a tap of a home button without typing anything. It reads the text on the screen and provides related search results which could be useful. For instance, my wife has texted me she wants to go watch Spectre, the new Bond movie. On pressing the home button, after a few seconds, we get some results with links to the movie trailer, a nearest theater it's playing and so on. Another example, I'm on Twitter reading about a new phone. On pressing the home button, after a few seconds, we get some useful links on the phone or the company. This is a very useful feature. but. It is at a very early age. There are occasions when it is a complete miss and there are occasions when the result for the same screen appears with different results set. It will obviously evolve as the year goes by. Also, holding down the home button and pressing on the Google icon will generally take you to Google Now where you can speak your commands if needed. Next up is the permissions. Previously in Android, an app requests the need for permissions while installing. Most of the time we never read them and we just accept it. Now this has actually changed. Now the permissions are requested while your app or a feature in the app wants to use one of the ability in your phone for the first time. 
This makes the user aware which functionality of your phone the app requires access to, making us the boss. Very nice and very thoughtful. Also, there is a permission manager in our settings menu. This permission manager allows us to control, change or revoke any of the permission that we have provided earlier to any of the applications. Also, there is an app link and default apps to control which of the app could open on a default settings. Also, now in the settings menu, they have included a memory manager. This menu provides you detailed information of your RAM usage. It shows which of the apps are using most of your RAM and you can act accordingly. This time around with Marshmallow, they have taken the battery saving to a next level with a feature called Dose. This feature does not improve your screen on time, but it improves your ideal battery drain. For instance, if you leave your phone on the bedside over the night, you would be losing something like 2%. It literally sips power when the phone is set down on a flat surface. Also to note, this feature does not work in your pocket. It needs to be on a flat surface so none of the sensors are activated. What it does is it shuts down all the process running in the background keeping the battery drain to a minimum. Also now, in the actual battery start screen, in the individual items in the list, we not only get the time but also the computed power in MAH itself. There is also a battery optimization menu in the settings which allows you to control the application permission to run in the background during the dose. But the bad part is one of the service which cannot be controlled by the battery optimization is the Google Play services. Funny though. But still, it provides a great battery life on a small battery of the Nexus 5. In the mixed use of Wi-Fi and data, with 2 hours of screen on time, I was able to get day and a half on a single charge. You could see on the battery graph, it literally lost no power when set idle due to dose. With these battery saving features on devices with bigger battery likes of Nexus 6 and 6P will have excellent battery life. Even in a smaller battery of 5X should be great. Yes, these features have already been well executed by most of the OEMs like Sony and Samsung in their custom skins. But will they drop their customized battery saving features and inherit this base feature from the stock Android? Only time can tell. In all, Marshmallow looks and feels great. It is still buttery smooth and stutter free even though it is running on a 2 year old device. But if you are looking for some drastic visual changes in Marshmallow, you would be quite disappointed. But there are so many behind the scene changes and improvement in Marshmallow which enhances the user experience in so many ways. I could totally see why Google wanted to give Android Marshmallow a whole new version here. Anyways, that's me. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below or write to me on Twitter at Matfotech. Also, if you like the video, do leave a thumbs up and be subscribed for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Good day.